my name is Mila and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create blisters, which are these little bad boys I got going on right here. They probably look a little, little funky um, because for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you quick tips and tricks how to create the blisters using gelatin and hot water. I did want to show you guys how easy it is to take this off. So literally, they just come off super duper easy. And not only that, they are reusable. So you can go ahead and place these in a container. Just leave them like that. And when you want to reapply them, you can go ahead and get some adhesive. You can get some eyelash glue and then just reapply them back on. Right now, they will stick because my skin is fairly warm. So they are just attaching itself to my skin, but they will not last unless you have some adhesive. But let's get started on this tutorial. For the of this video, I only made a small amount of blisters. I went in with a tablespoon of water and I put it into this little container and I put it in the microwave so it is burning hot right now like to the touch is gonna burn my finger I'm gonna grab some gelatin and I'm gonna put a teaspoon of gelatin and this gelatin in particular has no color and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix both those products together okay so I went ahead and added a little bit more gelatin it is gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio I didn't measure it last time I just went by the eye but I did one tablespoon of water and I did one teaspoon of the gelatin and it was just too much water so I went ahead and added the remaining of the gelatin which was actually a tablespoon and now I'm just mixing both these products together and it's becoming the consistency that I like that I need I definitely would not mix this with your finger. I'm just going with a paintbrush that I got at Michael's and I'm just mixing this stuff together. This is gonna smell really freaking funky. Like, it smells horrible. I am gonna be making green blisters. So I have some green full coloring and I'm just gonna put a drop, bam. And then I'm gonna mix this all up together. Grabbing a small little spoon, I'm just gonna dunk it like this. I'm gonna grab something that has a flat surface and this is how I'm gonna start creating my blisters. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some small ones, some big ones, and then you're just gonna wait until they are dry. So I made some small ones, some big ones. It's like making pancakes. <laughs> These honestly take like 30 seconds to dry. No more than a minute, depending how big you want them. So obviously as you guys can see, these are my molds that I made. Some people just make the molds just directly on their face, but I feel like when I do that, it just drips. And I'm like this, I'm trying to dry it. I feel like this is like the best way. If you don't have this small little container, all you really would need is a plate, a flat plate, any flat surface. You can even do it on your table because it's just gonna peel off and it's not gonna mess it up. If you do have some extra residue, you can just rub it out with some hot water, just rub it out with your fingers and then clean it with some Lysol. It's super easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel this bad boy off. Look at how effortless. See, now I got a little blister. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this, make sure it's still hot or else it's not gonna stick. And I'm gonna place it on my little mold blister. And I'm just gonna pat it right there. See how it sticks? It doesn't really matter where you apply this because blisters are not supposed to be Synchronized, I guess you can say. Hmm. And honestly, I didn't even apply any extra gelatin on this one and it kind of just stuck. As you guys can see, we do have some leftover. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab some aluminum foil and I'm going to save this for later. I do wanna add some white highlight to each and every one of these blisters. I'm gonna be using the Men Ron Makeup Cream Blend Stick. This is also a brush that I just got at Michael's. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to each and every one of these blisters. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Move my hair. Now I want them to all look irritated. Using my Menron Bruise Palette, I'm gonna be going again with probably this shade and this shade using that exact same brush. I just went ahead and just cleaned it out with some water. And I'm just putting this all around the infected area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my finger. And now you're gonna do that to each and every single one of them. It doesn't have to be perfect either. And we're just gonna line it up. This is a little difficult for me because I'm just trying to 
use this mirror right here. <laughs> in Pirates of the Caribbean, they do have a lot of actors that have like warts and blisters and this is how they use them. They use these type of products. They use the gelatin mixed with water. Some people do use glycerin, but this honestly works best for me. I want to look a little bit extra infected, so I'm gonna grab the yellow and place it on the outer corners of the infected area. Oh, I still had red in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my fingers, mixing it in with the red, making it look even more infected. Felt like I lost the red a little bit, so I'm going back in with the red shade, and then again, blending this all out. And these blisters are not going anywhere. They are not moving at all, like at all. So you could definitely party with this. I don't know about sweat resistant, but I mean, your body isn't gonna get too hot where they're just gonna be melting off. Sorry, my camera keeps going out of focus. Now to give it a more gory and 3D effect of the blisters just popping, I'm gonna go in with the Collagulated Blood Gel by Meron, and I am just gonna add some dots right here and I'm gonna bring it down add another one right here and bringing it down making it seem like this these babies just popped and with my finger I'm just gonna smudge it out so for the sake of keeping this tutorial really short and simple this is not really as blended out as how I want it to be but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tips and tricks on how to create blisters I am doing a tutorial on a dead zombies with infected blisters throughout the face and that one honestly looks super duper cool so stay tuned for that video I'm still editing it but hopefully you guys understand the concept on how to create these blisters using gelatin and hot water obviously if you do want to add some color go ahead and add some food coloring other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you think it was useful I'll be seeing you guys next time bye